Hello everybody. Today's topic is the Guitar Collective Tour featuring Nita Strauss and Angel Lavaldi. I went to see the opening night last Monday in the Greasy Luck at uh, New Bedford, Mass. I just had a few comments I wanted to make about it. Let me just start by saying I play blues and blues rock, classic rock. I'm not really a shredder, so I don't have much to say about their technique or skills. Obviously, they're both awesome. Um, and I appreciate all forms of music, that's why I was there. Um, but I had a few comments I wanted to make about the uh, show that I went to see. Um, so starting with uh, their special guest, Jackie Vincent, who I had never even heard of before. Um, he was very good. I watched him perform, I watched him, he was very accurate, very speedy. Um, the only thing I would say about him is the tone he went for was kind of... It, it came off as like, it's, if I had my eyes closed, I would have thought it was a synthesizer or some sort of computerized guitar program. It sounded electronic and fake. Um, I go to promote the, I go to support these promotions to support um, real musicians, people who uh, play an instrument with skill. And it seems kind of self-defeating to have a tone that, um, you know, basically sounds like a fake instrument. Um, I was sitting there watching him play very accurately and very quickly, very clean notes. Everything about it was great, except that tone to me was just sort of, I don't know, a weird tone to go for for a real guitarist. And I'm sure some of his fans like it. I don't know how many people were in the crowd to see him specifically. But I'm sure that, uh, you know, his fans enjoyed it. I just found it a little weird. Um... And that's really all I have to say about him. And this, you know, Angel Velvaldi is another guy who I didn't know that well, but I had seen a few of his videos and I had definitely heard of him, and he's very good, and he sounded great in concert. His performance was very lively, very well done. He was very into the music, and he had a great sound. Um, he's considered the main headliner of the tour, and um, he comes on last, and, and it was exciting to watch. Um, Nita Strauss's performance is the one I mainly wanted to comment on because she's the reason I went to see the show. I became aware of her when she started being Alice Cooper's guitarist, but I had watched her previous uh, video of her solo work that she had done and seen a few of the new videos off her new album, and I was interested in uh, seeing her live. Um, and she was awesome on stage, and she was, you know, again very into what she was doing and um, the main problem I had with Nita's performance was her overall sound it, the bass and drums were drowning out her guitar most of the night now you can go online and check out a couple of um, video clips of her performance from the Greasy Luck in New Bedford Mass um, and I don't know if this was an opening night thing or if it's the sound or the mix level that they were looking for I also don't know whether you know, they use their own mixing guy, whether they rented the place out and used the soundboard themselves, or whether they used the in-house mixing guy. Um, but her guitar was buried at times. And there's a couple videos that were like right up close to the stage that could maybe pick up a little bit more directly out of her amp. And you can hear it better than I was hearing it in the venue. But even there, there's times where you can't even hear her guitar with the bass and the amp going. And she is the headline um, performer out of her out of her set. You're not there to hear the drummer or the bassist. And that's an issue I hope they address going forward for the people going to see it. I know, I wish I had done this video a little quicker. Uh, I saw the show last Monday, but I didn't have time to make the video. But, I mean, from what I could hear, I mean, she was playing awesome. Uh, she puts on a good stage show. In our venue, she had a uh, Alice Cooper tribute band singer jump up on stage with her and do, um, I believe it was 18. And um, that was probably the best number of the night uh, during her set because you could actually hear her guitar well during that set. Um, I think that guy just happened to be at that show. I don't think he's touring with them. So I don't know if she's covering Alice Cooper on a regular basis or if she'd have a vocalist with her, but that was a good set. Uh, that was a good song, rather, in her set. Um, she also comes out at the end of the night and does a duet with um, 
Angel and then later all three of them are on stage and that's another time when you can hear her play really well. It's the best part of the show probably. Um, but I would just like to see her adjust her mix and get her sound out to the people that are coming to see her because that's your main reason for being there and it wasn't great. The sound in the, the venue that I saw it at it just wasn't very good. I'm not sure who's doing their sound check for them but I think that's definitely somebody has to make some adjustments to the overall mix that they're using in their live performances because it seemed like the majority of the crowd was there to see Nita and um, yeah, you're not hearing her well enough during her set. You're just not. It, uh, they definitely need to change the level of her guitar in the mix. The other thing I wanted to briefly comment on is um, if you're going for the VIP upgrade. When I first heard a post by Nita or a video, but I forget where I heard it, but she mentioned wanting to do more than your traditional meet and greet, but she wanted to do a, a Q and A, a meet and greet where you can get stuff signed and get a photo, and also a mini guitar clinic. The mini guitar clinic is the main reason I signed up for this. Um, I don't shred, but I'd like to see what they taught and take a little something away from it. Um, they didn't do that in my venue. Now I saw a different post from Nita on her Facebook page with the link to sign up and it, it was worded differently than what I had originally heard um, where it simply said that uh, bring your guitar and ask and they'll show you how to play it or something. Maybe they expected people to do that during the question and answer segment but um, nobody did that. Um, but the original advertisement that I heard for the VIP suggested a mini guitar clinic and that didn't happen at all and that was kind of disappointing I wish they were clearer about what was going on and um, if you're thinking about signing up for that you should ask for some clarity about what you're getting especially if the, if the guitar clinic is the main reason you're going because that didn't happen at all at my event um, and that's about it I mean it's a fun night it's a great show it's lively it's loud um, the only real issue I had was Nita being buried underneath her band. I mean, Angel, Jackie had a backing track, so you'll have no trouble hearing him. Angel had a bassist and a drummer. I forget if he had a rhythm guitarist with him or not, but he had other instruments live, but you had no trouble hearing him. Nita had a rhythm guitarist, a bassist, and a drummer with her, and she, her sound was buried in many songs and many parts of songs. You just couldn't hear her well at all. And that was a bit, like massively disappointing. So I hope they clear that up as the tour goes on and put on a um, a better mixed set. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.